Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Katie and I own this um, channel of tutorials and travel blogs. So it's been a while since I actually published a tutorial. It's because I have been so busy and I have been traveling as well and I've been sick. So I'm back now and I'm going to share with you another tutorial. I think some of you may know this already but if you don't then that's good I'm going to teach you right now how to actually make sure that your lines in your document line up so there you go that's it for our tutorial for today and um, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet I would appreciate that if you do just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video is up so you can also like it or thumbs up or you can just leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to get back to you and answer the question that you will be leaving me so anyway let's go ahead and get started all right, so we have a document right here. Um, I'm actually um, here right now and I'm working on an A4 size document that's 21 centimeters by 29.7 centimeters. This is one of the common sizes of ebooks if you are familiar or some workbooks if you have already created one or if you have heard about it. So when I create ebooks for my clients, I use this size. All right, now we don't want any of the stuff right here. I just want to see the document that I'm working on. So if you are wondering how to do that, you just have to click on the arrow right here so that you will hide the things you see on the sidebar. So here you go, let's, get, let's go ahead and hide that. And now we have our document. So this is actually just um, one document with a background and a shape above it. So now let's um, think about what we can do so based on the topic that we are talking about we are going to open up graphics and we are going to look for lines all right so here you go um you just have to scroll if you cannot find it i have just recently used a line so i can see that in my recently used area but if you don't see it don't fret you just have to scroll a little bit and then you will see lines so here you go just click on lines and then just for the illustration purposes right now i'm going to change the color so that you can see it all right now to make this line a little bit thinner what you can do is to actually um drag it inwards that's actually what you need to do if you want to make a line thinner now if you want to make it thicker you can drag it outside all right now here's another thing that i would like to teach you so what i actually do because if you drag it um inwards it's um the size actually changes and it becomes smaller so what i do is to actually stretch it all right and then that's the time i will drag it inwards all right so there you go see that's one line and then um, we can add another one so we just have to click on duplicate now we're just gonna eyeball it and make sure that they line up all right and then duplicate again and then drag and make sure that they line up now the problem is that um, if we do this we actually are not sure if the spaces in between are equal so let me just add a few more I'm just actually eyeballing it right now make sure that they are lined up together there you go um, as you can see they look pretty much the same size the distance in between but i'm sure there's a difference like this one is bigger than this one right so here's what you are going to do you just have to highlight okay so if that happens what you can do is just to undo and then lock it so that it will not go with your selection so i selected it and then click on position and click on horizontally and vertically so there you go they're all lined up um, here on the side and in the side and also the spaces in between so you are able to create your worksheet lines already or your workbook lines at with very much no effort at all so you just highlighted it and then you went to position all right just click it and you can adjust the space 
evenly, horizontally or vertically. So note that if you don't have lines or if you don't have any um, elements right here, then this will not appear. So don't worry if you don't see that. If you want to test it out, start with lines or start with shapes or start with text even. That, that will be possible. So that's it for our tutorial. If you have any requests on um, what other videos I need to record and stuff like that, let me know. Again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be here to help you out. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.